Hi, today we're going to compare these two Fender Stratocaster models, the 2011 American Standard Stratocaster HSS in black and the 2007 Highway 1 Stratocaster in trans red. These are both high quality electric guitars made in the USA but have some differences in features, sound and aesthetics. There have obviously been numerous other iterations of the American Strat released over the years like the American Deluxe, the American Special, the American Original and the American Vintage series of different years and various other signature models. All these variations differ in specifications of things like neck and body profiles, neck finishes, materials and fret types, pickups and pickup arrangements, electronic, hardware and refinements such as micro tilt, fret finishing, binding headstock design and logos. Now let's get back to taking a closer look at these two models and see how they stack up against each other. This is the 2011 Fender American Standard Stratocaster HSS and is part of the flagship series of Fender guitars. Featuring an older body with a gloss black finish, it has a modern C-shaped maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard and 22 medium jumbo frets and has a gloss urethane finish. It has a versatile pickup configuration with two custom Tex-Mex single coil pickups in the neck and middle position and a Fender diamond back humbucking pickup in the bridge position. The humbucker is controlled by a separate tone knob giving you more control over its output and tone. The pickups are also controlled by a five-way switch and a master volume knob. The guitar has a two-point synchronized tremolo bridge with new American Standard bent steel saddles and a Fender Deluxe staggered cast seal tuning machines. The sound for the American Standard Stratocaster is crisp and clear with a balanced tone and good sustain. It can handle any style of music from blues to rock to metal thanks to its powerful humbuckers and smooth single coil pickups. The guitar is comfortable to play with a smooth neck and a modern 9.5 inch radius fingerboard. The guitar's black finish is sleek and elegant and contrasts nicely with the parchment pickguard and chrome hardware. Now let's have a look at the 2007 American Highway 1 Stratocaster which is part of the series of Fender guitars that offer great value for money, featuring an older body with a modern C-shaped maple neck with a maple fingerboard and 22 medium jumbo frets and a thin nitrocellulose lacquer finish. It has a classic pickup configurations with three Texas Special single coils in the neck, middle and bridge positions. The pickups are controlled by a five-way switch, a master volume knob and two tone knobs. The guitar also has a vintage style synchronized tremolo bridge with six bent steel saddles and Fender cast seal tuners. The sound of the Fender Highway 1 Stratocaster is warm and rich with a vintage vibe and a lot of character. It has a strong mid-range presence with a lot of bright treble and a punchy bass. It excels in blues, country and classic rock styles thanks to its twangy and expressive single coils. The guitar is also comfortable to play with a smooth neck and a modern 9.5 inch radius fingerboard. The trans wine red finish is stunning and unique and shows off the wood grain of the body. The nitro finish also allows the body to resonate more freely and ages gracefully over time. The headstock shape and size changed over the years reflecting the evolution of Fender's design and innovation. The 2007 model has a larger headstock that is known as the 70 star headstock. This headstock was introduced in 1968 as a way to make the guitar more visible on stage and differentiate it from other brands. The larger headstock has a different script for the Stratocaster name which is more curved and italicised than the standard one. The 2011 model has a smaller headstock that is closer to the original designs of Leo Fender. This headstock has a more straight and upright script for the Stratocaster name, which is also more aligned with the Fender logo. The smaller headstock was reintroduced in 1981 as a response to customer feedback and market demand. So comparing these two Strat types, which one is better? Well that depends on your personal tastes and preferences. Both guitars are well made and reliable instruments that can deliver a great sound and performance. However, they do have some pros and cons that you may want to consider before making your choice. The American Standard Stratocaster has the advantage of having more pickup options thanks to its humbucker that can be adjusted independently from the single coils. This gives you more versatility and flexibility when it comes to playing different genres of music. It also has a gloss urethane finish which is more durable and resistant to scratches and dents than the nitro finish of the Highway 1 Stratocaster. However, some players may prefer the look and feel of nitro finish over the gloss urethane. 
The Highway 1 Stratocaster has the advantage of having a more vintage sound and appearance thanks to its Texas Special single coil pickups and nitro finish. This gives you more authenticity and personality when playing bluesy or classic rock tunes. It also has a lower price than the American Standard Stratocaster, making it more affordable for budget conscious players. However, some players may find the single cores too noisy or limited for heavier or modern styles of music. Ultimately, both guitars are great options for anyone looking for a quality Fender Stratocaster made in the USA. They have different strengths and weaknesses that may appeal to different players. The best way to decide which one is right for you is to try them out and see how they sound and feel in your own hands. Now I'm going to play you a few pieces on both guitars to show you what they sound like. I'm playing through a vintage valve Triumph Leo amp and a Klon Centaur as my overdrive. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this comparison video of these two strats. If you have any comments or questions about these guitars or any other Fender models, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more guitar reviews and demos. And don't forget to take a look and listen to Sun Hot Band's all original music. See you next time.